Oh my god, who are you? I totally didn't see you there. I was just so invested in this little book I'm reading. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel! If you're here, my name is Medita, and today I think we all know what I'm doing based on the title of this video, as well as the setting of this video. I am reorganizing my bookshelf. So Lily actually just joined me on my organization journey because she has to clean her room. Yeah, I'm actually, I'm getting the shit done. <laughs> Teamwork equals dream work. Working together equals being more <laughs> productive. So basically, we're reorganizing my bookshelf today because usually when I pick up a book, I don't put it back. It either lands on the floor in my bed or stacked on the shelf on a second row. So I'm just gonna show you what we're, what we're dealing with for a second. This is Lily with her cute little Starbucks coffee. Usually I sleep with two books in my bed just so I have something to sleep with since I don't have a boyfriend. And it kind of gives me comfort. Okay, then I have this random stack of books on my window seal. That is a little box of spoons. Don't ask me why I have a box of spoons in my room. I will not be giving you an answer either. Over here we have a box of towels. Don't ask me either why I have a box of towels in my room. This is my chair right now. I have not been sitting on my chair for a couple of weeks. Then swerving over here, we have the rest of my bed. And then when we swerve over here, we have my monthly wrap-up books that I still haven't picked up. Then we have the big bookshelf, and this one is actually... Quite horrible, too. I, I don't really know. And then there's also a few random things. And now I'm going to show you really quickly what I want to organize and how I want to organize it. The three bottom shelves on this shelf are romance. It destroys the vibe of the bookshelf. I want it fantasy, fantasy, or like fantasy slash dystopian, okay? Here I want to have all my thrillers since I got a few new ones and dark academia and maybe Greek mythology if we have the space. If not, we're gonna be in another dilemma because I don't know where to put it down. And then here I just want to do fully romance. My bed is fine. I don't need to reorganize anything with my bed, which is great because that's the most difficult part because I have to get down onto my knees. She doesn't have a lot of experience in that. Stop it, So let's get started with organizing the big bookshelf. Woo, hey guys. Don't be dumb. If I drop any of these, this video will not be posted and I will be interrupted by crying and rebuilding. So you better be manifesting that I don't drop any Lego. Trash bags. Hoi! Oops, I tried to hit something else, but it's okay. I'm just gonna start up top and work my way to the bottom because I am too lazy to remove all of my YA books right now. We're obviously going to have a shadowy shrine, which is going to be hair. So we have to move a lot of the dystopian books here. Up here is like weird vampire shit. No, you know what? I don't know where to start. This is terrifying. Why do I have so many shadowy books? That's really the exactly real Oh god. That's really the exactly real Oh god. What? Whoa. Oh no. Ow. Sorry, where's my Mara Dyer book? Why are you asking me? I don't know, maybe you can help me. <laughs> I don't know where the book you is. Can see all the way from Florida? Yeah? Oh, I see it, I see it, it's fine. I'm putting the Mara Dyer stuff up in the dystopian. Now we do the Shadow Me Shrine, so we have to move everything out of the shelf. I'm gonna look crazy with this. I don't care. Ah! Ooh, that was painful. Okay guys, so this is an exception. Usually I have all my special editions up top. I'm too stupid to fold this inside out. Let's try. Woo, I actually do like it. Oh my God, they're giant. Ooh, I don't know how I like it because it's in the middle. This looks so green. Obviously it's fucking green, but like, it's a bit weird, but it works. Oh God, this is so complicated already that I don't even know what to do. Do you like candy corn? No, it will get that away from me. I'm gonna make this my book talk fantasy shelf. Whoa, Whew, I'm sweating. This is gonna be like mystery V Schwab. So like stalking Jack the Ripper belongs here. Where is Vicious? I know I have that book, so it should be somewhere on the shelf. Oh, it fell over. I love it. I am dizzy. That is not fun. <coughs> Woo! I'm hiding my feet over here so you don't have to see it. I really like this. How do I lean back for you to see? <laughs> The only issue is the fucking finale cover, but like, that's me being dumb and buying the wrong thing. I'm gonna replace it soon, so. I'm gonna now move all my YA books to the side, and then I'm gonna see what I do afterwards. Okay, so I love HO, right? Oh my god, Cleo, Ornor, Emma. I love that stuff, right? I love it. I started reading Skin of the Sea, and oh my god, why did I never read about mermaids before? Because this stuff is so good! I don't think you understand the vibe, the writing, everything is just so cute. And then underwater, obviously, they have tails like a mermaid. And then I'm thinking of the Barbie mermaid movie and everything is just so cute. And I'm thinking of my childhood and I am in love. You need to read this. 
So I have moved all of my YA books out of my shelf. This is Lily though. She has joined me on FaceTime because we need moral support. I never left. This is like a daily occurrence. So I hope none of these books fall into my head, but we're now gonna put them in here. This book has been through a lot. Oh my God, there's a stupid delirium series. I'm delirious. Don't you dare disobey me for a wonder if I maybe overestimate myself and I have too much space for fantasy because it kind of seems like I did overestimate myself right now and it's kind of sad. Where is that hard bike book I just tried to read? I'm not going to stand up. Whoa. No, 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 oh no, it's moving away from me. That was so cool. <coughs> oh my god, something is stuck in my throat. Whoa. Whoa, 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 I just almost got decapitated. So I thought I'd explain to you all a bit more on how I organize my shelves by like vibes because all I talk about is like all about the vibes, bro. Vibes, vibes, vibes. That's all I talk about. We all know this. But the only issue is about my shelf is you see the Poppy War series? It's white, white, stark white covers and there's such an eyesore on the shelf i do not understand why i didn't get the color one because there's some really nice orange ones and blue ones and i got the white ones why i don't know is that maybe people wanting me to have a bad day yeah i think so yeah i think so so i had to like kind of adjust my shelf to that because i was gonna have like a high fantasy shelf with the poppy war and jade city i actually do not know if jade city is high fantasy but i thought it was but then i couldn't do it so i just said normal fantasy your toe is right in my line of sight. <laughs> I just look over and it's just your toe. What am I doing? I'm trying to move more books under my bed. This is so I un- don't, I don't really understand what you're doing, right? Like, I don't- Fuck, how am I gonna do this? What am I doing? I need to think for a second. You know what, I'm gonna leave this and go onto the middle shelf and see what I can do there. Okay, everybody, I'm in a bit of a dilemma. We don't know what to do here yet, which means I'm gonna focus on my thrillers now because I wanna have a border here, which is just thrillers. Whoa, I'm gonna move you. Ah, ow. Oh, I just fell over my own foot. That was so dumb. Where is a good girl's guide to murder? Oh, it's there. Ah! Ow, my arm, I just outstretched it so much. Ah! Sorry, that was a bit dramatic, but I don't really care. That was so much work, and it took me like seven seconds, and now I'm out of breath already. And then we put the Dark Academia here. It looks a bit stupid, but it works. Slay! Hello everybody, I thought I'd give you all a little bit of an update since we are technically struggling right now and I like to give struggle updates. So let me show you what the dilemma is and then also show you the different solutions we have. And I know it will already be solved before you guys see this video, but anyways. So we have all the fantasy nice and organized, right? We have sideways at the edge of it all because I like that because it kind of like frames in the shelf, right? So we have fantasy, 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 fantasy. And then we have these two empty spots. I do, however, have fantasy books under my bed, but I don't know if I want to put them there. Like we have Cassandra Clare, I could put it there as well as Brandon Sanderson, but Brandon Sanderson has like white, white books. So it would look really weird, especially because it's such a long series. That's problem number one, okay? Now we get to problem number two. So we have thriller, 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 YA, and then this is grown up. Then we have Dark Academia, Greek mythology. Down there, we still have YA romance and all of these are YA romance and we do not know where to put those, okay? I'm going to be getting every shelf off of the big book that I want on the small one next to my bed. You said every shelf off the big book. Oh, okay, wait. I am now going to be moving every book that I want on the shelf next to my desk from the big shelf and put it on a stack to see how much space I have for the YA. I honestly think I'm thinking really smart right now, so leave me alone. My knees just buckled and I almost fell over. I don't know what the heck just happened. Oopsies. That worked, look at that. Ah, it's almost tripped over my books. Whoa, that's perfectly, look at that. Okay, perfection. Da, 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 da. Okay guys, little update for the shelf. This is really stupid and it looks really ugly, but it's fine. We're get like, it's fine. So we have the Cassandra Clare books. I've never read them, but the only books I ever wanted to read by Cassandra Clare is the Clockwork Angel series, like this one. It's three books and this is supposed to be the good one, but you need to read the Mortal Instruments to understand the Infernal Devices. So I obviously have to read the six books before to understand the world. I obviously didn't want to buy these books new because why the heck would I spend money on books that I don't even know if I would like? So I bought them all secondhand and they all were two dollars. I got 10 books for twenty dollars. Usually a book is like twenty dollars. This is great! I need to film another on hauling actually because there's so many books I want to get rid of too. We have 
The Rhapsodic series I want to get rid of. This series I've never read. These books, like, they're just random fantasy books. And then I have German fantasy books. And, like, I know that's so stupid. I know I'm mixing languages. Don't even talk to me. I know this is super dumb. But I needed fantasy to fill it out. So this is just going to be, like, a little Joker card on top. You know, like, card games, right? This is the Joker right now. And as soon as I get stuff to replace the Joker with, I'm going to put it here. Honestly, I don't know why I'm doing this. It's fun, but also very much, very much difficult and... Not fun. Hey, guys. I'm gonna move the towels out of the way. I'm gonna carry the books over now, so you can't really see me doing it, but I am indefinitely carrying books over. Whoa! Whoa. 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 Well, actually, you <laughs> Oh god, I dropped the book. Whoa! Oh, I thought it was empty. Um, guys, fake scenario! We all know how it is. I just came up with this and I kind of love it. Okay, so basically, it's pumpkin season. You go to a pumpkin patch because you want to get a cute little pumpkin for Halloween, right? And there's this giant pumpkin auction for the biggest pumpkin at the field. And you're like, mm, I kind of want this because I want to feel cool and have the biggest pumpkin in town. So you start bidding on the pumpkin. But for some reason, this hot brooding stranger bids for the pumpkin too. And you're like, um, fuck you. I want the pumpkin. So you continue to bid higher than him. And then he goes, you go, he go, he goes, you goes. You keep holding eye contact during this entire time and you can kind of see that he's smiling and chuckling he's teasing you you get even more mad so you outbid him in the end and you get the pumpkin you feel pff, like a winner because you are a winner chicken dinner you're the best right at the end he comes up to you and he's like oh congratulations you're like yeah i know i'm the best and he's like haha funny 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 he helps you carry the pumpkin to the car he gives you his name you give him your name you kind of get a bit of talking but then you have to leave so you drive back home guess what then you don't see each other for an entire year until the next year, you go back to the pumpkin patch. You're like, whoa, there's another auction. I want to compete at the auction again. And then you see him and he has a beard now and he's super attractive. You're like, oh my God, let me see if he still recognizes me and bid on the biggest pumpkin again. He is bidding too. He hasn't seen you though yet. So you continue bidding. In the end, he wins. And just when he wins, he turns around because he wants to see who he was competing with. And he sees you and he recognizes you instantly. So after he gets his pumpkin loaded into the car, you go up to him and you guys get tired. You're like, hey, didn't think I'd see you here. And he's like, oh my God, I didn't think so either. What a coincidence. Or is this fate? Yes, yes, indeed it is fate. So afterwards, you guys go drink a little pumpkin smoothie patch, whatever you call pumpkin spice latte, right? You get sitting down. You guys get talking. What have you been up to for the past year? And then he admits to you that he went back to the pumpkin patch the next day because he wanted to see if you would come back. Obviously, you wouldn't because you already had your nice little big pumpkin and you already won the competition. But that means he was looking for you because he noticed. He noticed. He recognized the connection you two had. And he was like, I need to take her out on a date. And when you find out you're super into you're like, oh, my God, that is so cute. Because I actually didn't stop thinking about him for a couple of months. And then you're like, oh. Wait, this is so cute. Um, do you maybe want to go to the little maze? Because there's like this like maze at the pumpkin patch, right? So you go into the maze. It's like a labyrinth. And then right before you reach the center, right? You guys get closer and closer because it gets a bit darker. You guys start holding hands. Tension is there. And then he leans in for the first kiss. Okay? This is super hot. Ah! I love. going to be now doing my YA books. I'm going to be doing the two small boxes with important books, like books that are important to me, my favorite YA books, and the rest is just going to be average YA. <sighs> These are so heavy for no reason. I don't get it. Why are self-published books heavier than not self-published books? Oh god, it's so loud. I love how they all have the exact same spine. It looks so cute on the shelf. This one? deserves that spot, okay? This one is important to me. Same as this one. Vanessa, du hast mir ein Herzinfarkt gegeben. Stuff down there. 
Oh, what am I gonna do with all these? These are my childhood like YA books, right? Like Casey West was my best friend, but she doesn't fit on my shelf anymore. So where do I put my old best friend? Okay, so this is the only Mafia series I like. So it's definitely staying on my shelf. We're definitely keeping Britney C. Sherry too. Hey, hey. And then for D, Y equals 11 minus 4Z. So you just switch them around. So Y equals negative 4X plus 11. Wait, the Mindfuck series doesn't fit onto my big shelf. I don't think that's okay. I need to move something. I guess I have to do a Wattpad slash dog romance job. That's so weird. Oh, I don't know. that's questionable. Well, sorry to my vibe shelf because I just ruined the vibe. Oh my god, that is so many books that have been removed from my shelf. It's actually it's scary. Okay, so I'm finally done with the big shelf. Let me give you a quick overview before I start showing you all the books I have to put under my bed. I love this. This is what I want my shelf to look like all the time. Like stacked sideways only on the edges and the rest is just straight. But now these are all the books I have to somehow get under my bed. We have all of these, which is like Penelope Douglas. We have all of these, which were originally on my big shelf and all of these were, which were also all originally on my big shelf. And then soon I'm gonna be filming another unhauling because this is too much. This is actually too much. We are we have a problem. So yeah, let's get these under the shelf and then I'm almost done. See you later. So, so I realized I never finished the YouTube video because I fell asleep. But I thought I'd give you just like a little tour of how this looks like now because I don't even know how to explain it, but you know. We now have these two stacks of German books that just like stand in my room because everything else is like full. I might bring these over to my parents' place just because that's where all my German books usually are. These are the books under my bed on one side. Um, I'm probably going to get rid of one of the Penelope Douglas series and then I might even at some day sell the old covers. It's just fantasy romance and it's double stacked. Like back there, I don't even know, it's just like more romance. And then these are the YA books and just other romance books that didn't fit on my big shelf. In the back, we have some Wattpad books and YA books I don't read anymore. This is, this is my tiny book collection. More YA books. In the back, we have the Zodiac Academy, the Sophie Lark books. And now let's go to the other side of my bed where I didn't put any new books. Basically, this is just double road romance. It looks like this. Here's where most of the books are that I want to get rid of. Like, most of these are going to be removed from my shelf. Classics, right? Penguin Woodsworth. More classics, as well as German classic in different languages. And then we have fiction, fiction, fiction. This is like romance, but like, I think they're gonna be important. This is like YA as well, a little bit. And this is like literary fiction books. So as I said before, I changed the focus on my big shelf to have more space for the fantasy books. This is what she looks like. I am in love. So we have, I'm just gonna go like this really quickly. So this is fantasy, 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 dystopian, 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 fantasy, 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 special editions, except astronomy ones are there. Thriller, 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 dark academia, Greek mythology, my favorite YA books, my favorite YA books, YA, 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 rom-com, 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 Kate Tucker and other stuff, Coho, rom-com, 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 and like self-published books, sports, Callaway Sister series, Wattpad and dark romance. I still want to one day film maybe a detailed bookshelf tour. I don't know because I don't even know what I would show. I don't know. I'll see about that, how I film that in the near future. But yeah, I'm really, really happy. And I think my favorite one is still the side shelf over here. I think this one fits so perfectly together. Everything on that shelf it makes a lot of sense. This is the end of my, I think like seventh organization video. <laughs> And if you enjoyed it, you can give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of my content, you can subscribe. I hope you enjoyed this, even though this content is very repetitive. But I like this. It's very therapeutic to me. Maybe it's therapeutic to you to watch this. I hope that this time I won't unorganize my shelf as quickly as I usually do. I want to be able to put the books back on the shelf. I hope you have a great day, evening, nighttime, morning, whatever time's at the end. I hope you're enjoying yourself. Go read a book. And you know what? Let me just close my eyes and pick a random book for you to read. Um, I'll do a romance one. Read Felix Arafter! Again, uh, thank you for watching this video. Have a great day. Happy reading and see you next time.